What's up guys? So today I'm going to be reviewing this ECX Torment 4x4 uh, and I'm going to be reviewing it on the back of this truck here. Sorry it's kind of dirty but it's a nice cool and cloudy day out in Texas here which is pretty rare so I'm going to take advantage of it. Uh, so the ECX Torment 4x4 you can get it for about $235 online. I got mine from amainperformancehobbies.com or amainhobbies.com so this is of course the 4x4 version of the Torment. It is a 1 tenth scale short course truck so of course being a short course truck it's going to have really low ground clearance. So ECX's are pretty well known for their super good durability um, and that's definitely something that's true with this one. It's never broken really anything on me. A couple little small things like the little bottom of the shock tower as well as the bumper but I ran into someone head-on for that one so it is a very durable truck so this is the stock body that comes with it um, when you get the 4x4 version of it here you, this is the only body you're gonna get like with the two-wheel drive version you can get different ones but this is the one that you get for this so it is a nice and durable body as you can see I've well you can't really see it too well I've scraped it up given it quite a bit of abuse and it's still held up good the only thing I've had is this body clip broke through that um, but it is this nice I believe it's probably it's probably a Lexan body yeah Lexan body it's got these nice decals I like the way they did it with the ECX stickers around it's supposed to be like a little trophy truck in there with the fans in the back so pretty neat little body it also comes with these dynamite shootout speed treads tires they're pretty nice um, my foam got all messed up so I had to take it out and I think it does run a little bit better without the foams. It's a nice, pretty aggressive tread pattern. And I really do like how it has the white letters on the outside. It looks really neat. As well as the black wheels, they look good. So, taking off the body here. Inside here, so it does come stock with a just, you know, regular 540 size brush motor and uh, ESC um, so I did take that out and replace it with this dynamite taser 4000 KV system I'll do a separate video just kind of separately focusing on that um, because these these trucks when you first get them they are very slow like 18 to 20 miles an hour is top speed um, and so let me give you a rundown here of what it comes with in the box so you get the truck of course then you get a manual little wheel tool you get the charger here so this is the stock battery that comes with it it's a dynamite speed pack 2400 I mean it's a good just nickel metal hydride battery and it comes with this charger which uh, I never really liked it too much because it doesn't have a light or anything to tell you when your battery is done charging and it charges really slowly um, and it comes with these I think they're called yeah EC3 connectors um, and they're pretty good but I still prefer Dean's so I switched this over to Dean's um, and the you know battery itself too is it's just a nickel metal hydrate battery so it's not the fastest so it does come with a Spectrum DX2E transmitter it's a great transmitter has good distance and there's the receiver right there 2.4 gigahertz so I have put some stickers on mine, but it's a great radio system, works good. And it has this nice waterproof servo, so I uh, forgot to mention all these electronics are waterproof, even on the stock one with the regular brush motor setup, it is all waterproof. Um, so this is a Spectrum S603 waterproof servo, so it is pretty good, pretty strong. So yeah. So what I was saying with the battery is it's kind of a little bit slow, doesn't have the longest life. So I'll either use this Rage 5000 nickel metal, or uh, which is an 8.4 volt, and this is, I guess that's actually also an 8.4. And then I also use this 2400 um, three cell LiPo, 11.1 volt. So that'll really wake it up with this um, dynamite system and it'll hit uh, I'd say 50 or maybe a little faster so it's definitely I think a worth worth doing an upgrade to a, br a brushless system this one costs I think right around $120 and you can program it to 
you know, run different types of batteries, can program it in any sort of way. So stock, this does have metal gears in the transmission, so it can easily run this uh, 4000 kV brushless engine. I wouldn't do it on the two-wheel drive just because it has plastic gears. So you do have these aluminum capped shock towers, and they're really nice. You also have this heavy duty plastic everywhere, multiple linkages going from each wheel. So it's very unlikely that you're gonna break something. So for the battery tray here, I do have this other uh, LiPo battery in here, but it is a nice vented battery tray. Keep your battery cool while you're driving. And it's a big area for your battery there. So you can fit a pretty good sized battery in there. Um, so the only aftermarket thing I've done with this truck is of course the system here and then this RPM front bumper. And I have a video up on my channel of how to install this bumper because I didn't see any other YouTube videos of it. So go check that out. This is definitely a great upgrade over the stock bumper, really durable. So now that we've taken a look around it, let's go ahead and take it out and drive it. So I'll start out here with a speed test. So I did clock this once with like the smartphone app where you put your smartphone in the truck. I'm not really sure how accurate it was, but I do recall, I think it was in like the high 40s, close to 50. So it is definitely a quick truck. And again, I am using that 3S LiPo, so uh, just using the normal nickel metal battery, you'll of course have slower speeds. So here in some loose gravel. It does grip well, of course, because it's four-wheel drive. And those tires are uh, great on really any terrain. I mean, they're okay on any terrain. Um, I don't really like to drive it in gravel much because, of course, being that it's a short course truck, it has that really big body. And it will just, uh, any rocks or anything thrown up will just get all stuck in the engine area and get stuck in the drive shaft and I've had to take the whole truck apart basically just to get a gravel rock that was stuck in my drive shaft so it is a bit of a pain. So this is a kind of ledge of loose gravel and of course because this is a short course truck and it has low ground clearance it's not going to really do well on climbing stuff like this but we're going to give it a try. So I think the one thing that's kind of helping it is the fact that it's just so crazy fast it can kind of spin its way up. Uh, but as you saw it got stuck right up there at that one point. So it just doesn't really work too well on terrain like this. So I've come to a different spot here, tested out on this terrain. So this is kind of a mixture of some loose rocks with some hard pack dirt and soft, soft loose dirt. So as you can see, it, uh, this is more where a short course truck is uh, gonna do better at, is in terrain like this. Um, these tires, these tires are kind of made to do good all around. So they don't really do great in specifically anything, but they do perfectly fine in this terrain. So as for taking this thing on like a track or something, uh, it's more of a it's more of a basher. So you know it's not going to be the best for a track. I'd say if you wanted to ever take it to a track, you'd have to do the engine upgrade first, or do some sort of upgrade to it. Looks like my battery just uh, went out on me, but. This is a great truck for, you know, just bashing around. Oh, guess not. For bashing around, um, if you do this upgrade, I have taken it to the track with this engine setup, and it does super good. So, uh, yeah, this is a great truck, and I would highly recommend it to anyone who didn't want, doesn't want to slash just like everyone else.
Uh, that's kind of how I did it. I didn't really want to slosh like everyone else, so I, so I got the torment. But that will conclude this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.